Welcome to the instructional video for the Goiter Preloaded Glass Cannula for DMEC. In addition to the preloaded cannula, you will need to have a sterile shallow Petri dish filled with balanced salt solution BSS and one 5cc syringe filled with BSS available for use during the technique. Have the technician remove the cap from the flask containing the cannula and hold the flask in an upright position at the edge of the sterile field. Using sterile hemostats, remove the preloaded cannula system from the flask. Place the preloaded cannula system on the sterile field with the cannula facing up. Carefully remove the glass cannula from the clear plastic transportation holder. Hold the cannula in a horizontal position over a petri dish filled with BSS. While maintaining the cannula in a horizontal position, carefully remove the end cap from the large end of the cannula. Be sure the graft does not fall out of the open end. Using a drop of BSS on the end of the syringe to mitigate the introduction of an air bubble into the cannula, connect a 5cc syringe filled with BSS to the large end of the cannula. Carefully flush corneal storage media from the cannula by using gentle bursts of BSS from the syringe. To prevent the graft from prematurely entering the slender end of the cannula, do not introduce BSS too quickly or forcefully. If the graft starts to enter the slender end of the cannula, aspirate BSS from the Petri dish to reposition the graft while continuing to flush the corneal storage media from the cannula. Do not allow the graft to enter the slender end of the cannula during this process. Once corneal storage media is flushed from the cannula, carefully remove the remaining end cap. Using gentle bursts of BSS from the syringe, carefully guide the graft into the slender end of the cannula making sure the graft does not prematurely deploy out of the open end of the cannula. Once the graft is positioned in the slender end of the cannula, the graft is ready to insert into the anterior chamber of the eye. Insert the tip of the cannula through a 2.4 millimeter incision. Based on experience and preference, surgeons may choose to use a smaller incision size. Rotate the cannula so the bevel is up. Deploy the graft by gently depressing the syringe plunger in short bursts versus a steady push. Visualize the graft as it moves into the anterior chamber. Do not remove the cannula from the anterior chamber. Use bursts of fluid from the syringe to position the graft in such a way it will not follow the cannula as it is being removed from the wound. Remove the cannula from the anterior chamber. Discard the cannula after use. Proceed with unscrolling and positioning the DMET graft in the patient's eye. For additional information, refer to the instructions for use.